Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to see how to find out the price of a bond and its YTM through a financial calculator. For that purpose, we have some information about a bond here whose face value is $1000 and in time value terms, this is going to be our future value. Also, we have an estimate of the coupon rate of the bond which is 3% and that is going to give us a coupon amount of $30 if we are calculating it on a face value of $1,000 and in time value terms, this is going to be our payment amount. The current rate of interest in the market is equal to 4% and we also know it by the name of a required rate of return and its time value equivalent is going to be I slash Y key on your calculator. The bond is supposed to mature in 20 years and in time value terms, this would be our N and then we have an estimate of the bond price which is 864.0967 cents and in time value terms this is going to be our present value. When you are using a financial calculator my friends uh, please um, make a point to enter either the future value or the present value as a negative number. If you input both the future value and the present value as a positive number or both of them as a negative number, then you are going to get an error display on your calculator. Uh, what I do usually is, um, I believe that when I would buy a bond, the, it would mean that some money is going to leave my account. So it's going to be an outflow of cash from my personal uh, pocket. So I usually represent the bond price that I pay as a negative number and then all seems to work well. Now I'm going to invoke the calculator simulator program here. This is the simulator program which uh, uh, simulates the HP 10B2 uh, financial calculator. I'm going to clear the calculator display and then I'm going to show you how to find out the price of the bond. Let us deal with the first item here in the table. The face value of the bond is $1000. In time value terms, I'm going to enter it as a positive number and store it into the future value button. Then my coupon amount is $30. So I'm going to punch in 3030 and store it into my payment button. Then 4% is my market interest rate or required rate of return, which I'm going to use for discounting purposes. So I'm going to enter a four here and then store it into the I slash YR key here. Um, a word of caution here, please use the market rate of interest or the required rate of return for discounting purposes. Please never use the coupon rate of interest for discounting. The coupon rate is used only to find out the coupon amount and that is all. So we have entered the uh, discount rate here. Now we are needed to enter the time to maturity that is our N. So I press 2020 here and store it into my N button here and after that I'm going to simply press the PV button to get the price of the bond 864.0967 which is the same thing as this number here. What you're seeing here is a negative sign before the bond price and that is natural because you entered your future value as a positive amount. You have gotten your present value result as a negative number. So that is pretty okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all the displays, all the memories of the calculator and we are going to use the same data to find out the market rate of interest or required rate of return or also what we know as the YTM or yield to maturity on the bond. So I begin with my first item here, $1,000 positive number stored into future value, then $30 stored as payment, then 20 stored as my time and then 864.0967 and I must remember to store it as a negative number so I use this plus minus button here. I press this, make this number negative and then store it into the present value um, button and then I'm going to press my I slash Y key to get this 4% YTM which is the same thing as this. Uh, I hope this has been helpful, ladies and gentlemen, for you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.